Hundreds of hectares of ancient woodland restored. Thousands of ancient and veteran trees surveyed. Private landowners engaged. Training designed, developed and delivered. All possible because of a £3.8 million Green Recovery Challenge Fund grant from DEFRA. The England-wide project started in January 2021 and completed in March 2022 was delivered in partnership with the National Trust. And although a challenging timescale, the team embraced the opportunity and delivered excellent work. 660 hectares of ancient woodland have now been restored on 32 Woodland Trust and 10 National Trust sites. Infrastructure improvements will enable restoration of a further 178 hectares. At Tattershall Cars in Lincolnshire, Dominant sycamore trees have been thinned from the wet woodland, encouraging a greater range of broadleaves, future-proofing the wood from the effects of ash dieback and stand collapse. Restoration has taken place at 24 privately owned sites, removing the cost barrier for landowners. Thinning work at Gowbarrow in Cumbria means light can now penetrate the canopy prompting natural regeneration of the undergrowth and young oaks. The work has trialled trailblazing new approaches. Pigs were used to clear invasive bracken and some trees were cut to stumps. We'll also be comparing regeneration rates in areas of ground treated differently. In the southeast of England, zones have been linked, buffering has been provided and invasive species have been removed. It's made a tangible difference to natural habitats, encouraging them to flourish. There are over 100,000 ancient and veteran trees recorded on the Ancient Tree Inventory, or ATI in short, for England. But this is believed to be only a small fraction of the potential total. To help address this, surveys completed during the project have added 1,900 new records and 1,200 updates to the ATI. And training resources have been developed for recorders and volunteer verifiers, so we may look forward to more and better records. Nationally significant trees, such as the Bowthorpe Oak, Parliament Oak, Tea Party Oak, and the historic limes at Blickling, as well as the oaks at Melford Hall, have been inspected and safeguarded. Arboriculture, halo thinning, mulching, rerouting footpaths and fencing have all been carried out. Work which will continue to protect these precious ancient and veteran trees for many years. In addition to activity on the National Trust and Woodland Trust estates, we have also worked with private landowners to build relationships, survey ancient and veteran trees and understand how they fit into the wider historic landscape. A shortage of skilled workers with knowledge of ancient woodland and ancient and veteran trees has been addressed and working with the Ancient Tree Forum and Cumbria Woodlands, training has been developed and delivered to over 600 people. Demonstration events on ancient woodland restoration have been delivered to landowners, forestry workers and advisors, bringing the Woodland Trust's existing ancient woodland restoration guides to life while deepening contractor relationships. Looking at the project's economic impact, survey results indicate 38 roles have been created or sustained within the forestry sector, facilitating a green recovery. We are enormously thankful to DEFRA for the funding that made this happen and for the strong relationships we have forged with project partners. <laughs>